Thank you, Jesse. Tensions remain high in Ukraine as night falls and Russian forces continue to make their way closer to the capital city, Kyiv. This as the United States sends more aid to Ukraine. Cole Higgins has the latest. Slava Ukraini! Russian forces are tightening their grip on Kyiv as they inch closer to the Ukrainian capital. British defense officials say the bulk of Russia's forces are now about 15 miles from the city center. Now we have another day and we take one day at a time and each day can be the last. Satellite images show Russian airstrikes destroying infrastructure to the north and south of Kyiv, including a massive fire at a warehouse. And just 30 miles west of Kyiv, major damage to apartment complexes, schools and a medical facility. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says negotiations between Ukraine and Russia must begin with a ceasefire. The enemy is bringing new and new columns into our territory. We need everything. Military jet, anti-tank, air, anti-aircraft missiles, from nutrition to ammunition, everything. Saturday, President Biden ordering the release of an additional $200 million in security assistance to Ukraine. These dollars will help provide at least some additional weapons, but it's truly an unfair fight. All of this as the human cost of the war grows. The U.N. says more than two and a half million Ukrainians have already fled the country. The problem of uh, supplies of uh, food and medicine, uh, so far we are trying to deal with it, but uh, the situation might worsen. I'm Cole Higgins reporting. And amid the fighting, funerals are being held to honor the lives of fallen Ukrainian soldiers. Several families gathered here in Lviv Friday to say goodbye to their loved ones. Atika Schubert takes us inside the somber ceremonies. The coffins of senior soldier Andriy Stefanishin, senior lieutenant Taras Diduk, and Sergeant Dmitry Khabakov carried into the garrison church of Saints Peter and Paul in Lviv. Even in this sacred space, the war intrudes. An air raid siren barely audible under the sound of prayer and weeping. Everyone is asked to stay inside for safety and mourners are held captive to their grief. The Ukrainian military does not give out the number of its soldiers killed though the Ukrainian defense minister says that military casualties are much lower than the civilian death toll. Details of how and where these soldiers died are kept secret. That they were killed in the opening days of the war is all the families know. After the service, Miroslava Stefanishin struggles to articulate her loss. Two days into the war and my kid was gone, she says. Unspeakable regret, longing, heartache, I cannot bear it. I feel so awful that I cannot find the words to explain it to you, she says. Hoping that her son's sacrifice and so many others will be enough. Atika Schubert for CNN in Lviv, Ukraine.